Good morning. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm so excited to see you. We've got uh, three weeks uh, to kind of push to the end of the semester. Um, so super, super excited uh, about these three weeks. Plus, you know, we got a break in three weeks, but we're coming off um, Thanksgiving break. So uh, this is going to be this is going to be an awesome, awesome three weeks. Plus, it's an amazing time of year, right? When you think about what we get to celebrate at Christmas, uh, the birth of Jesus. I mean, amazing. So what a gift and an opportunity. Plus, we get to talk about it at school. How cool is that? Um, <clears throat> there's a little bit on the calendar that I want to go through. And then one thing um, I want to bring your attention to. I'm just going to write a note here. Sorry. Um, and then, uh, and then I'm, I'm going to share my notes about church. And I've got a special thing that I want to talk about with church. So I need to manage my time here uh, wisely. Uh, okay, so let's look at the calendar as we kind <clears> of <throat> roll into uh, this week, still in November, uh, but uh, at the end of the week, we kick over into December. So obviously the Monday morning message tonight, we have a preview night for, um, for prospective students and families. So looking forward to that. Those are always great. Um, I get to brag about you as students, about your teachers. Um, it's, I enjoy it. I really, really enjoy it. Um, and many, many of you, uh, I have, I met for the kind of for the very first time at those previews. So, uh, pretty cool. Uh, we've got some shadows this week, uh, a couple of sixth grade students tomorrow. Orchestra club, uh, is tomorrow, 315. And then, uh, first home basketball games for the high school is uh, tomorrow night. And then there's some more high school games on Thursday night. I will not announce our middle school. Not, and, and I'm not going to talk much about the high school after this week either. It's just, it's opening week for them. So uh, kind of announce that. Um, I won't usually talk about that because that would just, that would take up a ton of time. So keep an eye on your schedule. Uh, and then uh, obviously eligibility uh, as well. I'm going to send out a separate video that talks about eligibility and how we're doing that. Uh, some of you ask a lot about your eligibility, which is great. That tells me you're conscious and you're thinking about it uh, and that you're, you know, being conscientious, conscious of your grades, aware of your studies, knowing that that comes first. So excellent. Uh, chapel, we have a guest speaker, um, a friend of Mrs. Lindenmeyer. So that's chapel this week. Looking forward to that. Um, and then uh, right now, about 2.30 on Thursday, we've got an all-school pep rally. That's tentative. I'm going to get final word on that. And then we're good. So that's kind of the week uh, in the schedule there. You'll see some upcoming dates uh, for us. Uh, here's your cleanup crew. It's Aspen, Allie, Hunter, Jackson, Oliver, Cameron, and Pascal. There's your cleanup crew for this week. Aspen, Allie, Hunter, Jackson, Oliver, Cameron, uh, Peters, and Pascal. <clears throat> Upcoming dates. Uh, we've got um, eighth grade band doing Christmas carols at a, a memory care, assisted living. Uh, so that's amazing. And then on the 12th, we've got Cocos and Carols where our unbelievable choir will be in the dining hall um, singing. So looking forward to that evening. So, and then we've got ice skating, which is a tradition for us. So that's Friday. We've called and confirmed that several times. So many of you will get the inside joke. That's not really a joke on that. But anyway, we've called many, many times to confirm. And then we have break. All right. Um, okay, a couple of things coming down the pike. We've got speech and debate is firing back up. Um, so pumped about that. It's one of my all-time favorite activities. Clubs, more information is going to come out um, over these next couple of days. So we're going to have a flyer that'll be on the site here. Um, but one of the cool things about speech and debate, just a quick history. Many moons ago when we started it, 
it started slow. There's just a few people, a few students involved. And then word started getting out how awesome it was. And all of a sudden we had a ton of students. That may happen as well here. So we're excited about that. But the, again, the flyer will be up on our site um, probably in the next couple of days. And then the final thing on that is next week, on uh, ne at some point next week, we're just trying to figure out uh, the athletic calendar so we don't interfere with that. We're going to have a, a meeting to talk about this kind of an interest meeting. So you'll be hearing from Mrs. Naylor about that. And then finally, the checkpoint um, is filling up. So let's just keep that in mind. A couple of the sessions are completely full. Uh, and so um, we'll send out some more details this week. Mrs. Rudy and I are going to meet this week, uh, probably today at some point, to discuss uh, what's next. So anyway, that is pretty awesome. So super excited about that. Okay, uh, I'm going to shift now into um, church. Quick word about church. So Advent season, the four Sundays leading up to Christmas, so that started yesterday. So I really hope that you were able to attend church yesterday and kind of get kind of the launch into this Advent season. Um, I came back from my trip on Friday, so I was able to attend church yesterday um, with, uh, with my wife and, and then my um, you know, my kids are out of state. So just my wife and I attended church and it was great. Um, we wrapped up our series over these last couple of months. We've been talking about Ephesians, as you can remember, but, um, now with, with the Advent season, we're rolling into, uh, we're kind of close out Ephesians rolling into something different. So, um, <clears throat> members of our congregation got up in front and read through Genesis 3. Genesis 3, quite a shift from Ephesians, but nonetheless, uh, it's basically the Adam and Eve story. And so as I'm listening to church, as I'm listening to the sermon, and the songs were amazing too, by the way, I think, okay, how does this relate to my amazing middle school students? And I must admit, this one is a bit challenging to bring home to you, but I'm going to give it a try. So basically, the, it, it talks about the choice to eat the fruit and then just sort of what that meant and the, kind of the shame that that brought, them having to leave the garden. And, and, and Pastor Joel kind of put this image of, of them kind of looking back longingly at this place they've called home their entire existence. And now they're having to leave. <clears throat> and and talked about, you know, we all have homes and, and uh, we've moved maybe several times. Um, and so leaving a home can be challenging, especially if you're leaving friends and things like that, leaving your neighborhood. Uh, even if you're moving across town, it's a change, right? You're leaving your neighborhood. And so there's that piece, you know, Adam and Eve, you know, making the poor choice to eat the fruit now all of a sudden full of shame and now having to leave, right? So then um, how does that relate to us? Well, sometimes um, when we're, we're thinking about our home, um, and then you think of Adam and Eve and how they're thinking about their home. It, it's kind of like, it's just kind of a home. And for them, it was just kind of a home. But what made it paradise was it's a home that, that God created. And so they were leaving this home that God created, created. So when we leave, it's not for me, like we've moved a couple of times and for us, it wasn't the actual structure of the house. It was the fact that the memories that we had with either my wife or my kids or friends coming over, it was that that made it home. It was the memories. It was God sort of created this space where all these memories were created. So it wasn't, it's not necessarily the structure of the house. It's, it's the memories and the things that were done um, at the home. So then I thought, okay, 
when I think of home, and then I think of Adam and Eve and Garden of Eden, I think there's a sense of belonging when I think of a home, right? So I, we've lived in our house almost 20 years. And so when I think of that home that God blessed with the four of us, my kids, my wife, me, um, our dogs, I think of it's, it's the relationships. It's that I felt like I belong there. My kids felt like they belonged there. And so it was that sense. So then if you move that one step further with me here, hang with me, stick with me. God is seeking to bring us back to his home. So we had communion yesterday. So it sits out on this table in the front of our church. So God is seeking uh, us every single day, as I've told you, he's reaching out all the time to us and he's seeking, seeking to bring us back to this table to be in communion with him, to be a place where we belong. God is seeking you to bring you back home, to his home, to his paradise, to his table. And so God assures us that even though we make mistakes, and yes, we eat from the fruit that we shouldn't or something like that, right? We make choices, we say things, do things. God is still seeking to bring us back in communion to his table to bring us in society into his society okay into his communion so he meets us at the table and says you're welcome please sit with me anyway those are my notes um side note totally strongly encourage you to find a church over these next at least these next three weeks maybe four maybe it gets you in the habit of going longer the Advent season is so special. I, I don't want you to miss it. I want you to be in community, that you're surrounded by those that love you, that care for you, and that you go to this Advent season. I challenge you to do that. Students, when you make this change and you go to commun or, uh, uh, Advent season, and if it's something that's new for you, please come find me and talk to me about it. I'd love to hear about it. So anyway, this is an unbelievable time of year. Strongly encourage you to attend church over this Advent season. It is, it's pretty special. And it's a reminder that it's not about the gifts, but it's about the birth of our Jesus Christ, uh, Lord and Savior. So anyway, that was a little long, but wanted to make that point. Thanks, gang. Love you all. And we'll see you in the halls and the classrooms. Bye.